This is my International 1952 L112 with a 350 Pontiac engine. My dad brought home this truck actually to me um, in 1982. He bought it in Grays Lake. He brought it home and uh, showed it to me. And at that time, when he showed me the truck, I wasn't too fond of it being because at that time, dad had said, you know, you're, you're, you, you get to have the uh, 1980 Trans Am. So I'm thinking I'm gonna be a pretty cool kid, you know, driving a 16 year old, driving a Trans Am. So then what happened is, dad had to sell the Trans Am when I was like 15. And I remember him, you know, putting it up for sale on the on Route 83, and I was so mad. I remember, you know, just crying. I'm like, no, that's my car. And he finally said, I'll give you the truck. You know, just I have to sell the Trans Am. And I got mad. I said, I didn't want that ugly thing. I don't want it. I didn't want it. So, uh, but it had to happen. Dad sold the Trans Am, and uh, then you know the truck became mine. Uh, at 16, I got my driver's license and you know got to drive it around town and got more and more looks from it people giving you the thumbs up that you know that hot rod look you know everyone gives you that thumbs up all the time and i just started digging it more and more um, i had my driver's license so i was able to work at a car wash you know it was able to make a little bit of money so all that little bit of money that i was able to make i put it into the truck i put a little chrome here and i put a little chrome there um, and then you know it just kind of started building up until so i became extremely attached um, you know, another great fond memories I remember with my truck was, you know, was when dad brought it home. Um, you know, we did have Little League, going on Little League games and, you know, piling up the team in the back or, or my sisters and my brother and everybody in the back. And we'd go around after a game, we'd go catch an ice cream after that. So, you know, it's just that sentimental value or a sentimental uh, connection that I have to it, you know, from all the things that I've, I've known from it. So then two weeks before the wedding, um, you know, the brakes went out on it and I called my fiance and I told her, I said, hey, I said, we can't use it. She said, we'll use the limo. I said, okay, we'll use the limo. And knowing that I was going to fix it again right after the wedding, I said, sure, you know, we'll be fine. So at 20 years old, we, uh, you know, got married, got married to my beautiful wife. And then what happens is I said, all right, honey, after the wedding, I said, we're good. Can we fix the brakes? And she says, how about we buy a house? I said, great, you know, living with mom. So sure, I understood that. So we bought a house. I put it in the garage again. I said, you know, just don't ask me to sell it, honey. Please don't ever ask me to sell it. I just, it's mine, it's my truck. She understood and she, she was okay with that. So it sat in my garage. I buy a house. The next thing was, honey, can I put money into the truck? She says, how about we buy a fence? I bought a fence. Honey, can I please put the money into the truck? Several years down the road, we had to buy an air conditioner. After air conditioner, we had to buy a patio set. After the patio set, we did brick, I mean, name it, it's happened. Well, here we are, 17 years later, and I was finally, finally able to get it running again. It was, uh, it, I get choked up. I get very choked up still thinking about it. It's uh, the sentimental value of my truck means a lot to me. I owe a lot of it to uh, Craig from Rodsmith uh, Customs in Grays Lake. Without him, this wouldn't have been possible. So I do appreciate everything he did. Ladies and gentlemen, again, I appreciate it. This is my truck. Enjoy the pictures. Thank you, everybody.
Hey, I'm Craig Rodsmith. This is Juan's 52 International. It was a little bit of a challenge. Been sitting around for a while, hadn't run. So the first thing I suggested, let's get the brakes working and we'll get the engine running. But then because it's an international, it was hard to find a lot of custom parts. So we ended up making a bunch of stuff and it turned out to be a pretty cool truck. What we did here was, well, the hood ornament was missing. I guess the hood was standing up in the garage at Juan's and it got broken, so we had a bunch of holes here. So I formed this aluminum piece and this one on the English wheel, polished up a bit, has a nice accent to it. We did the same sort of thing down here with the grill, just aluminum touches. And the stainless bumper, which was yeah, tasteful, simple, works good. Did a custom dash and just little bits and pieces like that. I think it turned out pretty, pretty cool and pretty unique, which is what I like about it the most. And down the back here, one wanted to keep this industrial bumper step plate on there, which I thought was kind of cool, so I figured we'd go with some industrial sort of lights on the back, so we made up these aluminum pieces and just did some, well, I hate to use the word generic, but truck lights in there, and it kind of turned out good. Goes with the whole theme of the truck, and, and I'm glad to know that one's real happy with it. <laughs> <laughs> 